Hello everyone, welcome back to Royalty Soaps. Today I'm going to be using some goodies that Brambleberry sent me a while back. I know, I'm just now getting to it, but better late than never. They sent me the Brambleberry X Baraka Collection. Baraka Shea Butter produces handmade, fair trade products in Ghana. The women who make Baraka Shea Butter do everything by hand using age old techniques passed down through generations. Every purchase of Baraka Shea Butter products Products has a direct impact on the women, families, and communities in Northern Ghana. And now you can find their products at Brambleberry. So we have a lot to get through today. We're gonna to be making some cold process soap. We're gonna be doing some rebatch soap. It's gonna be a lot of fun. So without further ado, let's make some soap. Okay, so I have everything that was in the box here on my table. Virgin coconut oil, unrefined palm kernel oil, raw shea butter, baobab powder, black African soap crumble, raw shea quick mix. This is a soap making quick oil blend. African black soap quick mix. And this African black soap kit. I think this is a cold process soap kit. Let's open this up and see what's inside. Ooh, we have all of our written instructions and helpful tips here. We have some more African black soap quick mix. Ooh, look at all those goodies inside. Oh yes, I've shook it all up and look, oh. So many exfoliating goodies in there. Here's our sodium hydroxide, our six cavity silicone mold, activated charcoal, and some gloves. I appreciate those gloves, Brambleberry. Okay, this is really cool. I can stick this entire bag with the lid on in the microwave to melt it. I have my soap oils and my water all measured out. So I'm gonna set them off to the side and now I'm gonna measure out all of my additives. I'm mixing my lye water solution today as specified in the Brambleberry instructions. So slightly different than I normally do. If you've never made soap before, I highly recommend you watching my live safety video in the Royal Creative Academy. Brambleberry also has a set of instructional soap making videos, so you can check out them as well. Because I didn't use ice, this lye water solution is piping hot, so I'm gonna have to let it sit for quite some time until I can work with it. While the lye water solution is cooling for the cold process soap project, I'm gonna do this rebatch soap project. So African black soap crumbles, these are exclusive to Brambleberry, can be melted down and sort of like squished into a mold. You can add fragrance and stuff to it. You heat it in a saucepan, isn't that interesting? So I'm gonna pop this into a saucepan and uh, we're gonna try it out. I have melted down those soap crumbles and look at this rebatch soap. It looks great. It actually smells really good. And I'm gonna add another Brambleberry fragrance to it. I'm gonna add in some dark roast coffee. I'm only gonna add in one milliliter of fragrance because I only want it to very, very slightly scent it. Then I'm gonna mix this up really, really good. And then I'm going to scoop this out and kind of squish it here into this other Brambleberry mold that I have. What's really cool about rebatching is that of course, all the lye has already saponified. So just like melt and pour, you kind of just get to add in your fragrance and additives and push it right in. Now, I don't know if this is something anybody uh, really recommends, but using some gloved fingers, I'm just gonna squish this down a little bit more. At this point, point it isn't very warm at all so I'm definitely not in any way shape or form in danger of hurting my fingers it it feels warm but it doesn't feel hot and it isn't warm enough to like burn me or anything all right awesome so now all I'm gonna do is put this in the refrigerator to help it harden up a little bit and then we can unmold it both my lye water solution and my oils are between 110 degrees and 120 degrees just like the recipe says now this is a little bit warmer than I I normally work, but I am following the recipe. I'm gonna pour that 
dry water solution into my oils. And then I'm gonna pulse very gently until everything is combined. Now I'm gonna split my batter into two equal parts. I've added the fragrance oil and then into one portion, I'm adding all of that activated charcoal. I'm doing things a little bit different by mixing this in with a spatula instead of a stick blender. But if you're more comfortable following the recipe to a T, well then by all means, stick blend everything in. This looks super, super awesome. Let's get started pouring into our mold. Here's our little mold here. So we're gonna start by just pouring until they meet in the middle. Oh man, yes please. This looks so good. Okay, I'm gonna tap it down just a little bit. Perfect. I do have a tiny bit left in my bowls, so I'm gonna go ahead and just put that on top because we'll just mound it up. A little extra, right? All right, guys, I'm just gonna let this sit out for 48 hours up to three days. Let it sit here. I spritz the top with rubbing alcohol. Might still have a little bit of ash on there. I'm not bothered by that. I'm sorry. I had to, I had to just swirl it just a little bit. Not that much, just a little bit. <laughs> it's just so pretty swirled. Okay, no more touching. I'll leave it alone now. <laughs> See you in 42 to 72 hours. All right, guys, we're back the next day. It's been about 30 hours or so, and here's what our soaps look like. They're still a little bit soft in the molds, but I'm pretty sure I can get it out without damaging the bars. Oops, guess I was wrong. <laughs> now, unlike glycerin soap, cold process soap can actually be put in the refrigerator or the freezer. So I'm gonna throw this in the freezer for about 20 or 30 minutes just to get it firm around the edge. Then I will take it out of the molds. It could be that letting a soap like this sit in the mold for three days as recommended is all it really needs, but you guys know I'm impatient. So let's do it the fast way. In the meantime, here is our rebatch soap. It is very firm at this point and I can just pop it out of the mold here. Ooh, it has a very interesting texture and it smells so good. As a soap, this is ready to use immediately, but I always like to let soaps that have any sort of water added to them, like this one does, sit for like a couple of days just to let any extra water dissipate and therefore making a firmer bar. Now you guys know I don't make any health claims about my soap. All I say is that my soap will get you clean. That's all it does. But I would highly encourage you guys to do a quick Google of the benefits of using black African soap. A lot of people really, really like it and they have seen a lot of skin benefits from using it. I took a few of the pieces from the inside side of my soap mold and kind of smash them together so I could do a lather test. This soap is really, really soft. Like the soap suds themselves feel soft and creamy. You can see it creates quite the suds just from two little bitty pieces there and rinses off pretty easy, leaving my skin feeling nice and soft, but not oily. After letting the cold process soap sit in the freezer a little bit, you can see it was a lot easier to unmold. It smells so, so good, y'all. And I want to make some more of this rebatch soap. It was really, really easy and it looks really cool. Let me show you up close the inside after I cut some of the bars. See that cut? It almost looks like a brownie with walnuts in it. Thanks so much, Brambleberry, for sending over this collection to me. If you guys want to check out the Brambleberry X Baraka collection, I will leave a link down in the description box below. You can see all of the products over there on their website. Be sure you do something fun for yourself today, like trying out a new type of soap making if you're a soap maker. Rebatch soap is really fun and it's really easy to do. Or maybe putting on some lotion. Listen, it's the little things, all right? A lot of us get really cracked feet. We get ashy, we get we get chalky, We we our skin is parched, okay? Put some lotion on, take a second and just do it. Of course, you guys know, I don't really care what you do, but do take a moment today to relax, unwind, just breathe a little bit, okay? While I try to keep up with the comment section, I obviously don't know all of you guys individually, but even so, many, many people have told me that they're coming to this channel as a place to relax, as a place to de-stress, 
to unwind, to stop the cares of the day, sometimes even to help them go to sleep at night. And I just want y'all to know that I will always respect that. I will always keep this a very calm, gentle, family-friendly, no cursey zone. <laughs> I feel really grateful to be able to connect with you guys in this way. On the one hand, I can definitely say it's just soap. And on the other hand, it's kind of become more than just soap. And I'm glad every single week that you guys want to come here and just share in a creative, happy, lighthearted journey with me. So again, take it seriously. Go do something fun for yourself today. And I'll see you guys in the next video. So until then, bye for now. Here. <laughs>